Remember this woman? Tiffany Gomez? Check this out. Everyone keeps saying that if they were on the plane with the distraught woman, that they would have got off with her. But here's the thing. Ever since the incident, the woman has been missing. The plane landed safely and all passengers got off and got all of their luggage. The missing woman, however, wasn't even worried about her belongings. She hasn't been seen or heard of since. There is no record of her being arrested. No one spotted her walking through the airport or getting into an Uber or a taxi cab for that matter. How could someone vanish into thin air after that incident? All passengers were forced to get off the plane. Authorities and staff were forced to go through all suitcases before passengers were able to board again. The three stewardesses aboard the plane were not allowed to board again, which I find highly suspicious. The accused shapeshifter has not came forward to clear his name. One thing is for certain, there are more questions now than there were when the incident first began. You see that? Let's get into it. Thought I told you niggas once before. What? King Leo is the greatest, he gon' fucking soar. Yeah. And when one door closes, I'ma open more. I'm like Jordan on a beat when I'm ready to score. Rap Woo. ninja, interested in getting fast figures. A fact spitter with lyrics. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys wanna know. Hey, King Leo, do you believe in shape shifters? I believe that anything is possible. Hey, King Leo, do you believe in extraterrestrials? Yes, I do. Therefore, if extraterrestrials exist in my belief system, then um, there is also a possibility that shapeshifters also exist. Now, I'm going to have a... Uh, I'm going to try to find that photo for you guys of the alleged sha uh, shapeshifter that she was talking about. I'm going to try to find different photos of that guy so you guys can see him yourself. Because I remember seeing one particular photo and I saw this man's hand. His hand almost looked like a, um, like a skeleton hand, but it had skin on it. Okay. His hand looked odd. His hand looked, it just looked odd to me. Um... I do believe this woman saw, saw something. I do believe she saw something. Um, and from what I heard, right, I got word that um, the reason why she was so freaked out about this guy, because she was actually having a conversation with this individual. But what she realized, what she finally caught on to was the fact that he, he didn't muster a word. He didn't open up his mouth when he spoke. He would look at you and speak. He would just speak. You would understand fully what he was saying. He just never opened up his mouth. It's called telepathy. This is not the first time I heard of something like this happening to someone. Uh, there was an old story. I don't remember this, uh, you know, what documentary it was, or I believe I saw it on YouTube somewhere. But there was a man who encountered a... Uh, um, he he encountered what what looked like a a man in black like like a men in black looking looking person but they had they had a a, a very odd face i don't remember remember what it was about their face that was odd but he, i remember him mentioning this person didn't fully look human and then what he remembered from this from this situation was this being never spoke. This being never opened up their mouth. But they were speaking to him directly to him, just looking him dead in his face, speaking directly to him and never opened up their mouth. Not one time. Um, so I'm, I'm letting you guys know this to let you know that this is not a one off situation. Whenever you have situations that whenever you have situations that are not a one off and you have multiple people talking about it, you know, talking about this particular topic, then there's a good chance that it's real. Um, you know. I don't know of a bunch of pranksters that are going to that are going to make this type of stuff up and say, 
he's not real. You know, uh, um, you know, this person is speaking to me, but they're not opening up their mouth. They're not human. I don't know what kind of I don't know who would pull this kind of prank. OK. So. um, I do believe what she said really did happen. Um, but the crazy part about it, guys, she's missing. This woman is gone. Nobody knows what happened to her. And you want to know, see, see, you have to pay attention to the, uh, the aftermath of these type of situations. If this was a prank, this woman would have came out at some point and said, hey, Hey guys, I was just pulling a prank and nah, 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 nah. and you know, my name is X, Y, and Z and then, you know, I got a YouTube channel. I'm trying to, you know, she would have, she would have explained herself what I believe, you know, that's what I believe at least. But guess what ended up happening after she went missing? First of all, nobody even knew she was missing. Okay. But from what you saw in the beginning of the video, everyone got off. But her, she was never seen leaving that plane. She was never seen leaving that plane, guys. OK, um, this is not the first situation I've heard of, of where someone um, went missing or ended up losing their life. After exposing something to the world or attempting to expose something to the world. <clears throat> Do y'all remember that guy that spotted that giant on that mountain? And then he took his car and then he he uh, he attempted to go to the mountain to s try to catch that giant on film. And when he took his car to that, you know, to that mountain, there was a uh, there was a, 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 a government a, a government car there. And that government uh, uh, agent was like, turn around, go back. Don't ever come back here. Guys, when he turned around and left, that agent followed him. That agent followed him all the way to his home. He was able to open up his window and on camera, he saw this car parked outside. And as soon as he saw, he saw uh, the car, it took off. Not too long after that, guys, he came out with some videos talking about, yeah, guys, I was just, you know, saying things. You know, you don't have to believe what I'm saying. And, da, da, da. and I believe it's either they made him say that or he was trying to say that in order to take the heat off of him. Not long after that, guys, there was an obituary of this young man. He couldn't have been more than like 27, 28. That's what he looked like. He looked like around about 27, 28, young dude. There is an obituary out there for him. He just lost his life. Poof. Just like that. After exposing a giant on a freaking hill. Okay. So. I'm noticing a pattern, guys. When you spot something. Okay. When you spot something. And you know it's not normal. And, and if you want to live, right, take a take a take your phone out, record, speak about the topic. Don't show your face. Upload it to YouTube. Don't show your face. Don't let nobody know who you are, but expose the being for what they are. If you're trying to if you're trying to continue to uh, continue to live. You have to move smart out here. Almost every single situation like this that I've heard of. The people who found out about these beings and about these extra these extraterrestrials and, and seen them in person. These people ended up disappearing and, and nobody has ever heard of them ever or heard from them ever again. That's the pattern I noticed, guys. And then the fact that the media didn't even say nothing about her going missing Tiffany Gomez the media said absolutely nothing about her going missing guys all right 
So as you can see on your screen, it says second not real plane video goes viral as, as man tries to escape rain, rain air flight. So days after she what, what happened to her, this guy uh, started freaking out on the plane. You know, you can find that video on TikTok and he's he's yelling. He's like, oh, my God, let me off of this plane. Um, I believe this stuff is real, guys. I believe this stuff is real. Um, stop being so quick to call people crazy because, uh, d you know, d stop calling people crazy just because you haven't seen it. Just because you haven't seen what the heck they're talking about. Okay. There was one time I saw a, a gigantic UFO. It was huge guys. And I, my little brother was with me and I tapped him on the shoulder. I said, bro, look, I said, bro, look, I said, look out the window. Do you see that? I said, do you see that? He said, yes, I do. I said, okay. And you want to know why I did that, guys? Because I didn't, I needed a witness in order to know for a fact that I wasn't losing my mind. So now I have a witness as to what I saw. Okay? Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Leave a like. Share this video with your family and friends. Keep your eyes open. Um... And uh, stay tuned for future videos. Deuces. Come from a place that's real scary. Big guns, like military, real shit. No fairy tale. I possess a shit ton of knowledge. I'm like the Holy Grail. I was born with high perseverance so that I never fail. They tried to label me crazy and so I hid the pain. Tell them. Big Pharma selling alternate cocaine.